welcome to this video. My name is Anushka Gandhi and this video is going to be slightly different than my usual videos which are generally informative uh, for the international students and international immigrants who are coming here to Canada. So this video is more of a tour video of a historic place here in Ontario which I didn't actually plan to go to. It was totally coincidental. Um, I hopped onto this place when I was actually driving to a beach here in Ontario just to enjoy the summer random day day off from work and when i saw this place it actually sounded a it sounded quite exciting for me because this was a jail uh, which came into existence back in 1842 <laughs> yeah it was it was long back it came into existence in 1842 and the last time it actually functioned was in 1971 so since 1971, um, the place was not having any prisoners. The prisoners back then were shifted to the to nearby jails in Stratford jails and jails around. And it was um, finally announced as a historic place or a place for public to visit um, in 1942. So, yeah, I mean, it was quite interesting because after I did a little bit of research about this place before stepping in because i want to make sure the place i'm going to is interesting and worth watching and that's when i came to know that there were actually three prisoners back then who were hanged uh, in public uh, while they, while in jail so it was something interesting and i'm i'm always a historic kind of a person i mean if you ask me i, I would love this genre so um i was totally into it I, although there was an entry fee to get into this jail but i was totally for it so uh yeah so the next up would be the shots which i took inside the jail and it was not just a jail there was a courtroom on the third floor of the jail and then there was also the governor's house right right besides the jail so you're going to get a tour of a sneak peek of all of it so stay tuned and watch till the end so I started from the topmost floor of the jail, which was apparently the courtroom. So this was the place where probably they would do those mini trials of the prisoners who were inside the court. And it could totally relate to the courts which we have uh, in the present day. And then it would exit to this. So this was the backyard of the court. Um, of a ground area wherein the prisoners would do all sort of activities some some extra work in order to earn a little extra while they were inside the jail um so when it when i see this when i saw that for the first time what immediately came to my mind was the bollywood mo movie shole um wherein it had a similar environment i mean um all all jails are pretty much having the same um infrastructure the same construction so this is this was very fascinating i mean i would i would literally imagine those prisoners doing uh, work like carpentry gardening stuff there needless to say it was uh, quite a large area um, if you compare to the amount of i mean the jail is not a, that big i mean it's it just covers a small region in ontario so compared to that um, this place was quite quite large i would say Then we headed to the holding cells. Now, holding cells are basically the places where the prisoners would stay. I mean, they would just catch hold of them in these very small places. I mean, if you could see the area, it's quite a small area. I mean, it's just smaller than a bathroom in an average household. So I would just imagine, I mean, how would the prisoners even stay inside it's such a small area and then they have a very very tiny window inside there it just freaks me out to see see how the life inside a jail jail would really look like and i saw a poster which had all those different methods of hanging people in canada i mean <laughs> that sounds so scary and then this is one of those holding cells again but this was something different because it was all made of wood and even the bench the sleeping area was also wooden i mean it would have been so harsh so hard so difficult to stay inside this i mean it's all wooden and hard 
and then this was the place which was quite different i mean i mean it was the kitchen inside the jail wherein those people would actually prepare all kind of dishes for the prisoners and if you could see those utensils from then and this oven gas stove those pans i mean if it just gives me a different kind of goosebump situation you know what i mean i mean to see the stuff which was oh so basically this jail was with the last it was open it was working was i guess in 1967 so oh my god it was quite a long time i mean i was wasn't even born back then and this was the breakfast menu okay so it was quite um managed was quite um strict i mean really i mean yeah you know and this was the place where they actually washed their clothes so this was the laundry back then i know it's there's no comparison to the equipments we have these days but do you even imagine how stuff would have been back then and this was the clothing rack oh my god so what i believe this was the entertainment area wherein they would just have some something to play some kind of game i don't know what that is but uh that's what i believe if it's not otherwise yeah it's kind of a modern day sink and a sewing machine so yeah this jail was quite equipped with a lot of stuff so this is kind of a sneak peek of the jail how the jail looked like and what sort of departments it had although i was not able to shoot a couple of them um it was quite crowded when i went there and it was about the closing time but there was a pharmacy area and there was a place where they would provide medical aid to the prisoners and that was quite interesting i remember they had all sort of those instruments which they used back then in order to uh, perform from surgeries or cure people uh, also sort of surgical instruments all sort of diagnostic instruments and then in the pharmacy i also saw those weighing scales those traditional weighing scales wherein i assume they would major all the medicines um, in order to decide the dosage So now we are going to head towards the governor's house which was within the same campus the same compound as the jail and the most exciting part was to see the clothes which they the people would wear back then i mean the people who would stay inside the house along with the governor probably the family uh, the clothes the utensils which they used the cutleries and stuff like that the beddings oh my god it was so exciting to see that i'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy this so stay tuned so this is how we step on to the governor's house it was quite huge i mean um obviously the position would have been quite a reputation but still i mean the house was quite large and it said the capacity was of 60 people inside that so yeah i mean it was quite a huge house i was right beside the jail could you imagine staying along um with the prisoners i mean as soon as you just open your window and what you get to see outside are the prisoners i mean i don't <laughs> literally mean that but could you just imagine that i mean as i was entering through all these places the only thing i was um trying to understand trying to make myself realize that this is a jail and oh my god and i don't know how it was back then though it's So what they actually mean is all these um f- all this furniture you see these four frames they were definitely from back then so yeah they were quite modern i would say and then when i saw these dishes these um cutleries there i was like did those people really use these specific cutlery in order to prepare their food i mean if that was so it's so freaky i mean it so scares me 
well i'm not i'm not really sure if those buns were from then because then they would have been rotten by now but they would they would be um just a uh, stuff to decorate the place i guess so there was the um this is the proper kitchen area for the house for the governor's house it was a small small dining table just for the tea i guess you would see all kind of uh, equipments from back then so i just see an ironing thing and then the small stuff and i i believe that's a that's a teapot i'm not sure and this is the bedroom i mean how cozy it seems doesn't it Oh my god i mean i i believe the wallpapers pa were not same back then because they obviously had to do kind of renovations very often um after the last governor left this place but still i mean these things they just are on a different level if and yeah i mean these clothes they say that these clothes were from those people who actually stayed here so Yeah, I mean it gives me a different level of thrill while I while I was watching this. So this was all about today's video. I hope you liked it. I'm still going to come back with my OG videos, my informative videos and stuff. So please consider to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and comment down below what you want to watch next. Goodbye.